Hey everyone, this is Bomb speaking here, and on this video, I'm going to teach you a turn 2 base all lane against Protoss. Alright, guys, so to start with this build, uh, this build is uh, very, very safe and also quite strong. Um, just gotta make sure you um, execute it properly and don't delay your timing attack. But don't worry, because uh, I'll be guiding you through how to do that. So, with this build, I'm gonna start doing a gas first 15 gas. There you go. Producing. 60 now, I'm gonna drop down my barracks. Also, just so you know, I'm gonna leave the build auto written for you down in the comment section or in the video description. I don't know, but somewhere down there, you're gonna find it. So, keep producing now. So, this build, uh, because uh, Protoss has been playing so aggressively lately, and then sometimes like a single adept arrives and makes your life a nightmare. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a barracks factory, then expand instead of expanding um, right after the barracks. You, you get it? Yeah. All right. So 100% the barracks. I'm going to make now a factory, marine, orbital. Now, I'm going to make the second supply right here in a way that I can see all of this, but it's not close to the cliff. So, this means that he will not be able to snipe my supply, and at the same time, I have some revision of down there. Yeah? Anyways, so, producing. Make sure you keep the the supply away from the edge, the one to get it snipe it. Yeah. Now another th great thing is that because you go marine right away, it gives you the capacity to deal with uh, any early probe bullshit, right? Those motherfuckers come and can even allow you to build your 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 command center. Not gonna happen with this build. Now 100 percent the fact you drop down attack lab, expand. Uh-huh. Drop down a supply now. Not the marine, you want to make up to four marines. Get all my law. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna drop down a cyclone. The 75 minerals you get after the cyclone, I'm gonna drop down the gas. Reactor on the barracks whenever the fourth marine finishes. Now I'm gonna go down to the low ground and build my bunker. Now keep in mind that uh, 3 minutes is usually the time that the Adept or the Stalker is gonna arrive here to start poking you. So be a little bit be more aware. But don't worry, because in case you lose your Marines, your Cyclone pops and you're fine. Okay, so I'm gonna change the Rally Point from the main to the natural. Now I'm gonna make a Siege Tank with the next 100 gas after the Cyclone. The next 100 gas after the Cyclone, I will be dropping down my starport so let's wait for that it's almost time there we go get the marines inside the bunker you can send the the cyclone now to the main base because if he comes with oracle not very fun is it okay now you can keep swapping the siege things like a one go to the natural the second go to the main and keep doing this just so we can deny any possible uh, mm, DT stuff, right? Or some Blink Stalker, especially. Now I'm gonna drop down my engineering bay at 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Whenever the starport, starport, starport finishes, you make a reactor. Could not even say that word right there for some reason. Gonna build another supply because we're not stopping. Uh, Consuming supply. Yep, see if thing finishes. Oh, this one goes to the main. Yep, engineering bay finishes. You make a turret right here. This is an anti DT turret. Okay. 
12 SCVs on your natural now. It's time to drop down two extra barracks. Yep. And now also drop down. Keep building supply, like I said, because you're not going to stop consuming it. And after those two barracks, you can also drop down two more guesses. There we go. Got the siege tank. Got a little bit of supply block there because I'm so good at this game. Don't question me, I'm Grandmaster. Can make a supply. Yep. Two SMS to each gas. Uh, I want to get supply block and look, look, you look ugly. <laughs> so let's build a, a, one more, one more. Yeah, attack labs on those barracks whenever they finish. And now you're gonna drop down another two extra barracks. In case uh, blink is very common on your level, you can build those barracks in the backside here so they don't get sniped by the, you know. The, the, you know, the siege tank here. Okay, so now that I have fully saturated both mineral lines, I don't need more workers now. There's an observer here. There's an observer here. There's an observer here. Like that. Okay, now what you're gonna start doing is you're gonna start getting liberators constantly from your starport. Yeah, let's pop a worker to my natural. Now, those fourth and fifth barracks, whenever it finishes. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, doing any add-ons on it, just go straight into pure marine production. Get no marauders with this build, yes. Remember that. No. You can always leave the, the cyclone here with a few marines because I hate wire prism, don't know you, but oh, oh man. Oh, it gives me some heart attack. Right. Okay. Producing. Now, whenever the two liberators finishes, the first two, this is time to move out. You group up everybody now, and it's time to move out. Make sure that you send the marine ahead just slightly, just so you can have vision ahead. Put your liberators to follow one of your siege tanks. Make sure you rally all your infrastructure on one of your siege tanks so they follow you as you're moving forward. So I'm gonna pause here, explain to you a few things. Uh, one of the most common problems that my Terran students has is that uh, they very often get caught and sieged, right? So. One thing I forgot to mention here is that when you, whenever you fully saturate the two mineral lines, you stop throwing mules down because you need that energy to scan and see where your enemy is, so you don't get yourself caught and sieged. Okay. So, oh, my dog's barking. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna, whenever I cross like a 50% of the map, I'm gonna scan to identify my enemy position, so as you can see now that I have it identified, I know I can measure when, where and when I'm supposed to siege up. So I'm gonna siege up right here. Now the computer is gonna bug out, right, because it will. Maybe later I might make a, a video of the, me doing this on, on a real game and how I execute it. Just make sure that when you do engage, you do not engage from uh, the middle of the map. You want to engage like for the from the corner, so he, he can only have like a one or two uh, ways to attack you. If I would be like in the middle of the map, I allow the Protoss to position so many ways that he might attack me from multiple angles, and that's terrible, right? It uh, decreases the capacity of your splash damage from the siege tanks. And also now what you do is you just keep leaping frog slowly forward. Make sure you don't get caught unseized. I suggest that you only unseize one third of your units in advance at a time, no more than that. Do this very, very slow, very carefully. Uh, another tip that you can do is you can bring an SCV with you and you build like a sensor tower here within your army because this is gonna 
help you to foresee where the enemy is coming. Uh, can be a great tip uh, to make sh make making sure you know exactly where your enemy is coming from. And then as you move up, up uh, you crawl forward slowly and slowly and surely. Eventually you choke him and then you can just kill him. This, this moment here I'm gonna advance my Liberators very aggressively because he's so far behind. There we go. Okay, let's snipe those, those, those one here. Just make sure you only steam when he really engages, you know? Don't panic and then go steaming right away, you know? You know? And behind this, just keep reducing, keep spending your money, keep advancing slowly until you kill your enemy. Alright, and that's the build. Look at that. Keep advancing very slowly. So if I got supply block, that's a great sign. It means that I have already won the game because no people died. Make sure that you do not build more supply when you're attacking because chances are that you're gonna lose a lot of supply. And that's it guys, just try this build out and let me know how it goes. Hey guys, if you are looking to improve in StarCraft 2, I am giving a 50% discount in my first coaching session. Just check out the details in the description below and I see you guys next time.